Okay, so this is Bob, UFO Satellite Radio, broadcasting from coast to coast and internationally for all those on the same Facebook frequency. It's Bob. Okay, so right now we're going through this coronavirus ordeal. And there's a lot of fear, there's a lot of anxiety, people are feeling out there, a lot of uncertainty, especially too when people are used to having money coming in, all of a sudden the money's not, it's not coming in. So, I wish to contribute to helping to overcome that. Okay, so, I'm going to give everybody the key to overcoming it. The key to overcoming it is to understand that you're of the force within you, the cosmic force within you. I call it the cosmic force intelligence. It's, a, it's an illuminating intelligence. It's an intelligence and a power that's completely illuminated. Imagine for a second you're on a UFO, okay, and you're traveling through space. Now you're outside the Earth, okay? You're outside the Earth. Uh, give me one second. Don't go away. Please do not go away. Okay, don't go away. Here we go. Okay, so, so basically. You're outside the Earth, okay, but here's your UFO right here, okay, okay, this is symbolic, right here, see, the illumination, now, you're on this UFO, and then, then you're going through, right through the light wave frequency, now you're outside the Earth, you're completely outside the Earth, 100% outside of it, now on this special UFO, you got everything you need, you got a hundred year supply of food, of drink, of vitamins, nutrition, everything. You got the perfect navigational system to whisk through any sector of the universe and you're outside, you're outside of the earth, completely 100% outside the earth. Now the fact that now you're outside and now nothing of the earth has any more attachment to you is anything of the earth going to bother you? Of course not. Nothing's going to bother you because now your soul energy is outside the earth. It's completely outside the earth. Okay. Now you may be saying, well, Bob, that's all nice and everything, but I'm still on the earth. Well, this is where a person's perception has to start changing. This is where you got to start shifting into what I call a cosmic illuminating uh, viewpoint perspective okay imagine once again you got the UFO okay here it is right here okay it's an illuminating force and it just goes right outside the air like that okay now Check this out. Next thing, next thing. You're whizzing through space, and then you're traveling so intensely far, 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 like so bright, so far, so fantastically high. All of a sudden, you come into an area where all the stars, all the space, everything else is so brightly illuminated, it's not even funny. It's no more darkness or anything, it's just all brightly illuminated. Okay, the energy levels start to really start to spiral upward. Okay, and as you're doing it, you're feeling this huge release of energy. All the negative energy just leaves you. And now your UFO is coming to a whole entire new universe where everything is super peaceful, serene, joyful, harmonious, everything you could ever want. And all of a sudden, there's a UFO re-entering into that universe, starting from there. Now you're in a whole new universe, and everything's just bright illumination. Bright illumination, bright illumination, bright illumination, and then you're there, okay? 
and you have on your uh, you have on your uh, space gear. You have your unif You got your UFO that's just landed, and you step out. And there's super advanced terrestrial beings there, ready to assist you. I mean, how cool would that be? Fantastically cool, right? But I know what some of you are kind of thinking. You're saying, "Well, that's all nice. That sounds really fantastic." But I am here on this earth. But see, this is where a lot of people get stuck. Okay, while it's true that your physical body may be here, it's true that my physical body is here, and it's true that my mental, emotional self is here, um, when it comes to what's called the much more subtle energies, the spiritual, the consciousness, okay? So even though my consciousness is here, once I understand that my consciousness is part and parcel of the universal consciousness, okay? I could slip through that doorway. I could slip through that doorway just with purely what I call my pure imagination. Now, some people may be saying, well, Bob, that's just an imagination. That's not really real. But let me ask you a question. Who are the ones that define what reality is or is not? Who are the ones that define what reality is or is not. You understand what I'm trying to say? In other words, if you could visualize something to such an intensive degree, like for instance, right now I'm closing my eyes and I'm visualizing my UFO and it's super brightly illuminated and it's within a super secret warehouse as far as 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 far as, as far as warehouse, okay? And the front gates open up, and then there's the stars, and I'm just ready just to whiz off, okay? I could visualize that and make it so intensely real, so intensely real within myself that I step in, and then I just slip right through. I just slip right through, okay? And the energy slips just right through, but it's at the most subtle, the most subtle field of energy, and in the fact that I slip right through... Who's to say there's not any sort of what I call, who's to say whether there's not any sort of what I call particle wave, particle wave energy that in fact slips through to perhaps partaking into like another dimensional reality like that. You understand what I'm trying to say? Because the secret to everything is to tap into the most subtle energy levels within you tap into that and realize by tapping into that you're tapping into all the energy levels throughout the whole universe um, in which we call the past which really they ain't no past it's, the past is actually the present the future is actually the present as the present is actually the present but what it is is all dimensional perspective you got to up level your perspectual perspectival perspective within your own consciousness and re-perceive everything throughout the universe. You re-perceive it. In other, words, in other words, you redefine it according to the way it actually is. Now, some people may debate about it. They may say, well, come on, man, the past is the past. But no, one of the most brilliant physicists on the face of the earth, Albert Einstein, said, we physicists know that the division between past, present, and future is purely illusionary because Albert Einstein knew the higher realities and in the higher realities there's no such thing as past, okay? It's only higher dimensional levels that one can travel through. The point I'm trying to make about all this is this, see, it's like most people are not really tapping into the profound power, what I call the UFO power within themselves. Some people may laugh, that's okay, people can laugh, I'm not going to take it personal. But when I mention about the profound UFO power, I'm talking about the profound unified field origin power, okay? The illuminating power, the cosmic power, okay? Which enables these super highly event celestial UFO crafts to enter into our dimension. And the ones that I'm trying to tune into are the ones who are friendly, that mean the best for humanity, okay? So, once again, why am I talking about this? Because, see, you can start attracting, and I can start attracting, that UFO illuminated field right now. Like, for instance, just close your eyes, okay? 
and just imagine you're in that great illuminating field, a UF, UFO consciousness field. You've got your own UFO. And once you step in there, whew, you're free. And all the problems, the negativity, and everything completely disappears. And then you realize something profound when you're traveling through celestial space. You realize something that you are actually a son and a daughter of the celestial cosmos itself. And that the celestial cosmos is a rightful reign. And through that means, you channel these energies and you disperse them. You let it go. You just let it go. Now, imagine doing an exercise like that and just really partaking of that and really feeling it and really believing in it in a reality like that. Okay, and dispersing all the negatives, no matter what it is, and saying these energies, I disperse, I reverse them, and I disperse them. You could even, if you master yourself even much further, even transmute those negative energies into a positive. Okay, because that's the duality between negative and positive energies. You could transmute it. <sighs> like the ancient alchemists, okay, the alchemists were fast at work trying to transmute base metal into gold. Well, you can do that with your energies. You can grab hold whatever negative energies that are there or that have been there and transmute it through alchemical means. Matter of fact, that's one of the secrets of time travel, okay? It's this, is that what we call the past has to do with energy fields. That's all it is. The past is not really the past. It's just dimensional energy fields. These energy fields come to you in the present, and what you do, you can retransmute it. By retransmuting it, you have, in fact, partially altered that past. Now, some people are going to scoff at that. They're going to say, oh, come on, man. You know, the past is still there. But no, 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 no. It's a dimensional reality, okay? The past has to come to you in the present in order for the past to be the past. You understand what I'm trying to say? The past doesn't catch up to you in the present, okay? It's not really the past because then it's disconnected. Your whole entire past field, the past energy fields, they have to come to you in the present. Now, think about it. All the past energy fields coming to you, okay? Think about it. Those, the past energy fields are energy fields. And you don't even have to insert the word past. You could just say, these are energy fields coming to me. And even though apparently they seem to be fixed energy fields, I'm going to change those energy fields. You see where I'm going? You change it through a refocusing of your consciousness, up leveling the consciousness to a much higher level. Okay, and so what I'm trying to say is this, and I talked about this before, tuning in to the very essence, the very core of your being, the very consciousness of your being, the great cosmic illumination of your being, and connecting that with the infinite illuminating consciousness of the universe. Breathe it in, breathe it out, breathe it in, breathe it out, breathe it in, breathe it out, okay? And then you can use the great cosmic mantra to do it. But you, in order for that mantra to work, you have to do it with a complete seriousness. It can't be a jokative thing. A lot of times people joke about it, but if you use it in a complete seriousness, it'll do wonders. But you breathe in, out, in, out, in, out. In, out, in, out. In order to contact contact the most advanced celestial beings, you use the most sacred of all mantras. Um, um, um. And then you can even raise the vibrational tone of the mantra. Um, um, um. And then, um. So basically what you're doing is that you're focusing your mind on a tonality. What are the tonalities of these super event celestial beings? In other words, everything gets off a particular tonality. So you can tune into the tonality of these super event celestial UFOs. <sighs> Visualize it. Become one with it. And start to telepathically communicate with these super events beings. 
becoming one. And then to harness in all the powerful positive cosmic forces to you. Clear out all the negative in your whole system. Disperse it. Because you realize you're an infinite cosmic being. Okay? Now think about this too. Catch this. This is going to be a really profound thing to really catch. Okay? Think about this. Okay? Now right now you're sitting. Okay? And you're thinking you're in the earth. Of course you're in the earth. Okay? Where else would you be? Okay? But how come we don't... How come we don't say to ourselves... Okay? Because we're on the earth. How come we don't say to ourselves... You know what? I'm actually floating out in space. Because you are floating out in space, okay? As the earth is turning, it's circling around the sun. Circling around the sun. So in a sense, you could change, to really make this into a far out thing, you could change your whole entire perspective about the earth, okay? You could tell yourself, from now on, I see the, the earth as a UFO celestial vehicle. I see the Earth as a UFO celestial vehicle. I see the Earth as a UFO celestial vehicle traveling through space. And I'm on this UFO celestial vehicle traveling through space. And I'm going to tap into much more higher refined technologies where I can harness what the Earth does and then do it myself, okay? That's all it is. In order to tap into the UFO energies, you got to tap into their technologies. Okay, visualize the technologies, the scientific technologies coming to you. Visualize it, be a part of it. Welcome it. Okay, become and be cosmic children of light, traveling to far distant planets. Okay, so let me do this one more time. Okay. Okay, so that's my discussion for today. I let the illuminating cosmic UFO field of light disperse all the energies, all the negative energies, and transmute into a complete, total cosmic positive. And remember this, okay? You can do it. You can be a powerful instrument to change this whole earth around to a complete, illuminating, positive earth, okay? A positive field of energy light, cosmic energy light around the whole globe. Because you are in possession of consciousness. Never forget that. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. UFO Bob signing out.